Hey everyone, it is Thursday, February 27th, and we're on our second day of our Lenten devotional series, um, reading an obituary day. And today I have the honor of reading the obituary of um, Bev Robertson's father. Bev is a committed uh, um, participant of the land. And um, so it's just a wonderful um, way to begin my day by starting um, creating space to um, remember her father. Obituary for Thomas H. B. Benton Smith. Thomas H. B. Benton Smith, 84, of Jerome, passed away May 2nd, 2008, in Twin Falls. Benton was born July 24th, 1923, in Keithsville. Mm. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Keytesville, <laughs> Missouri. The son of Paul Wesley Smith and Olga Lucille Crawford Smith. He was raised, oh geez, we're gonna have to say it again. He was raised in Keytesville and attended schools there. Benton served his country in the United States Army during World War II. God bless him. He married Florence P. Bogelson on November 17th, 1946 in <laughs> Keatsville. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. So I am so sorry, Thomas, <laughs> if I'm butchering the town that you were born in and married in. They raised three children. Benton spent most of his life working in dairy agriculture. He spent 16 years with the State of California Department of Corrections Dairy Unit as a dairy foreman. Wow, that would be a really interesting thing to hear more about. He and Florence settled in Jerome, where Benton was a herdsman and a dairyman. Benton loved gardening, that's where Bev gets it from, camping, and especially gatherings with his family and friends. He is survived by his loving wife and friend of 61 years, Florence Smith of Jerome. Their daughter, Beverly, Randy Robertson of Aurora, Colorado. Their son, Stephen, wife, Linda Smith of Huntsville, Missouri. 17 grandchildren, <laughs> including spouses, as well as 15 great grandchildren who all loved and have learned so much from grandpa. He is also survived by five sisters, three brothers, and many nieces, nephews, and friends. Benton was preceded in death by his parents, his son, David Smith, she's, and his brother, Wayne Smith. The funeral will be conducted at 11 a.m. It was on Tuesday, May 6, at Farnsworth Mortuary Chapel in Jerome. Pastor Laura Rockwell of Jerome United Methodist Church officiated. There was a visitation for family and friends that began at 10 a.m. that day. The interment took place in Asbury Cemetery in Missouri, and the family suggested that in lieu of flowers, memorials be made in Benton's name to Jerome United Methodist Church. Just what an, um, an amazing life and what stories that I'm sure just rest behind that. I mean, just the um, description that he spent 16 years with the state of california department of corrections dairy unit i feel like i need to go google that or call bev and ask her to tell me more about um what a dairy foreman um was and what he did in those 16 years um i'm just thankful for um thomas's life because of thomas and his love for his wife um, I get to um, be in relationship with Bev and have her as part of our um, new congregation at the land. And so um, thank you, Thomas, um, for your um, dedication to um, serving your country in World War II, um, to doing what must have been a hard job as a dairy foreman, and um, for loving your children, because I can see that love in Bev. Let's play, pray together. Holy Spirit, I thank you for um, the life of Thomas and um, for the gifts that he has left um, this world, for the ways in which he has loved its children. 
And I, God, I just ask that um, you would help us listen and imagine to these, and imagine into these stories, um, words and visions that would inspire us to keep memories alive, that we too might be remembered when we have long passed, and that people might ask questions about our lives and wonder with curiosity what it was like. Amen. May you have a blessed